We did it. I don't know why we don't have a team of people filming us because like the shit, the stuff. You should the be some reality TV do. show following us around because like we are busy living it that we can't actually film it. But And like always something goes wrong and we're so busy like putting out that fire or slipping the slipping on ice or whatever that we don't capture it. So yesterday we drove 12 hours to get to, it's so hard to like multitask. It's so hard to vlog and it's drive. It's hard to vlog and drive in snow. Okay, so we drove 12 hours. We left at 5.30 in the morning from St. George, got to Missoula at about 5.30 p.m. and drove through a nice little snowstorm. That wasn't a big deal because we weren't towing, so that really was easy, but <laughs> it, it was scary. easy even though we were like, oh wow. That's a lot so of snow. Soon. It was a lot. I was glad I wasn't towing, that would have been scary. Okay, so then we get to Momo, it turns over right away. It was crazy, and then it shut off. But I just turned it back over and like revved it for five minutes, and it was good. I mean, of course, it's been it's freezing. And then we had to drive out, I don't have chains for Momo. We drove out in the snow, and I, snow and ice, I thought for sure I was gonna like slide and like do a 90 degree turn on the snow, but nope, rolled right out of there like a boss. And we made it to, there's a campground just around the corner from the RV storage in Missoula. Found a campsite, took a little while in the dark to find a campsite that I wouldn't get stuck in the snow. But then the hard part is we had taken everything, like so much of our stuff from that house that we were renting and put it into the Class C that, oh my gosh, there are so many boxes, there's so much stuff. But the cool thing is that one of the things I took from the house is this electric fireplace. It's like those long bookshelf ones with the electric fireplace in the middle. I was so happy to have that. It was toasty in there. And one of the reasons we keep Momo is because that heater in there works so good if you have electricity to get it to just turn on at first. Um, but it's propane heater. It warmed up. I was sweating last night. Victor didn't come with us because he thought it was going to be too cold. It was hot sleeping in there last night. It's all organized, I and mean, it's a little messy, we'll show you, but it's a little messy, but it's organized, and now we, um, it's kind of cool. It's like the Martian for us always. We solve one problem, then we solve the next one, then we solve the next, and we now are gonna go skiing. The only slight flaw is that I got rid of Tati's skis, and so, because all of our ski stuff was in Romo, I got rid of her skis, I bought new skis, but I didn't buy bindings yet. So we're gonna go up to Lost Trail. This is my first time to go up to Lost Trail. It's really pretty. If you leave Missoula and you head south, like you're gonna go down towards McCall, um, you go over Lost Trail Pass. There's like a whole bunch of his history with it, with Lewis and Clark. It's a beautiful ski resort. It's gonna be our first, so we've driven it many times. We've never actually stopped and skied here, so it's gonna be kinda cool. Hopefully they have rentals, and we'll get somebody skis. I I'm pretty sure it's gonna work out. So, Lost Trail is the first resort we're hitting on our Indy Pass. So we're really excited this year because uh, Indy Pass has like over 50 resorts. Now we're not going to hit all 50, but in the next two weeks we are going to over try to hit 100. But like, oh wow, yeah, I didn't realize that. We're trying to hit 50. <laughs> we're trying. To, I'm, I'm going to be stoked if we hit 15. What do you think? 15 is like to make me feel like all right. Well, she was hit. all ambitious. Like you guys, we're going to hit 50 resorts. And now she's all in 15. 15. We're gonna hit one, two, three. We're gonna try to hit seven in the next two weeks. So I go like. Snowboarding is like riding a bike. It's so easy to just pick back up again. But then Isabel goes. <laughs> I can help pants So we started heading out from Missoula to our next destination in Idaho. We drove about 100 feet and Momo just stopped. 
So we're recharging the batteries again since we think that's why it's not rolling is that the batteries are just dead from sitting for so long and being in the cold. So we are charging up and go rolling to the nearest gas station because our tires are super flat. So stay tuned. yesterday it is so slow you know Momo starts up every time but it can barely drive like 40 miles an hour in the snow so what should have been a four hour drive was probably more like a five hour drive and or like six hours even it felt long it felt long for my brain so now we're here in Sandpoint and we get to uh, the campground which is the city park and someone comes and knocks on the door and says the campgrounds closed so, in conclusion, there's we nowhere died. for us, we died. But there's nowhere for us to stay while we're in Sandpoint, so we're going to get ice cream one more time, and, and we're, we're gonna drive, drive to Coeur d'Alene to celebrate New Year's Eve. <laughs> 